Hi friends, let's take one very important question regarding to regularization and the effect of regularization on a curve fitting. So let's recall what is regularization and what is the curve fitting then we will try to correlate that what is the different value of the lambda which is nothing but the regularization and its effect on a curve fitting. So what is regularization? Regularization is we are using for avoiding the overfitting effect. So we are introducing one more extra term into our error function, our hypothesis function. So hypothesis function is nothing but the function of expected minus actual plus we are introducing one important term of regularization where we are giving one hyperparametric value lambda and that different value of lambda how it is affected to the different curve fitting that we we are going to see so based on the different value of this lambda which is nothing but the regularization parameter i have introduced here the four graph and for different value of lambda how it is affecting to the fitting based on the different uh, based on the same polynomial so let's try to understand let's say we have uh, this many points are available in a first graph or even all this graph are the fifth order polynomial all are fifth order polynomial only but let's introduce the lambda effect or a regularization effect to each of this graph and let's see how they are behaving once we increase the value of this regularization parameter lambda once we decrease the regularization parameter value lambda so for the first one we are fitting to the fifth order polynomial where we have introduced the lambda value is equal to zero lambda value now you can see that there is no regularization we have introduced here so it is completely stick to the input data this curve and this curve has almost memorized all those input data so there is very good it is performing on a training data but it has very stick and it has memorized the input data training data but that's why it won't work very good on a testing data so overfitting kind of phenomena is occurring so no regularization overfitting is occurring now let's introduce little uh, regularization or we'll introduce or we'll increase little value on a lambda so this graph is corresponding to the lambda is equal to 0 0.1 so once we introduce little uh, lambda into it the uh, graph is not completely fitting to the all those input training data point but it is moving towards the more generalization this graph let me show you it is even more higher value of lambda so it is very close to 1 now we introduce lambda even more higher let's say it's a, it is a 10 so it will even generalize better way so once if you observe this we are introducing more and more value or even higher and higher value to our graph or even our into our our uh, error function the higher value of the lambda regularization parameter it is not completely stick to the input data the overfitting kind of phenomena from graph 1 to 4 it is decreasing it won't perform exactly very good on a training data and that is a good for us because it is moving towards the more generalization it is moving towards the less memorization because if you see the very first graph it has completely memorized the input data so it is performed very well on a training data good on training data but very bad on a testing data because it won't generalize well but once we introduce this lambda parameter the regularization parameter it is not very stick to the input training data so training error is little bit increase but it is generalizing well also so and it will perform at least better than this phenomena or even a first graph it will perform better in a this graph testing error will in decrease in the third graph again you are putting or increasing the lambda value so even more uh, training error will be introduced but 
it is generalizing even more better way so testing error will even more decrease and we are moving towards the less and less overfitting kind of phenomena we have now in a four graph we have introduced the lambda value 10 even more uh, lambda value higher training error but it is generalized very well on a testing data so let's summarize that based on the increasing from graph 1 to 4 let's see we are moving from graph 1 to 4 what is happening overfitting phenomena is decreasing overfitting decrease training error little bit increase but testing errors is very good testing error decrease lambda value increase so from 1 to 4 we are introducing more and more higher value of the lambda so that overfitting kind of phenomena is decreasing all four graph we are fitting to the fifth order polynomial only they are all perform well on a training data little bit training error will be introduced once we introduce towards the high biasing or but testing error will continuously decreasing so the conclusion is that we introduced the regularization parameter and we have removed kind of overfitting phenomena occurring in our model but as the overfitting is decreasing it our data or our model will perform better on a testing data so that is what the effect of regularization parameter on a curve fitting regression model so that's it for this lecture friends uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video and if you haven't subscribed my channel please 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 do subscribe to support the channel and at last thank you guys for the watching